Okay, so this is the end result of all that experimentation. This is the final electrode configuration. This is a incandescent heating bulb used for a small heater. It was the only thing that could withstand the high tension. I believe I'm at about 9,000 volts right now. I'm not sure. I don't have a high voltage meter. This thing is kicking off a lot of gas though. Basically what we've got here is a incandescent heating bulb. I believe this is a quartz tubing and wrapped around it I've got a copper wire braiding with some stainless steel wire and lint screen which is basically just a stainless steel mesh kind of like screen. I'm currently getting about 67 watts out of that. Um, about 6 watts is from the double fan setup that I got going there. I have two computer cooling fans in tandem to give me a nice strong blast of air. This thing does get kind of hot to the touch and I did some research that disclosed the fact that ozone has a half-life of about 1.5 seconds at 250 degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit. I can't remember which one it was but nonetheless I found out that any ozone generator that you have that gets really hot is destroying just as much ozone as it's making basically so I've been kind of inhibited and stuck with these low power units I had a unit that was kicking out 180 watts but it was just getting so hot and just basically burning a hole through any dielectric I could put up with it um, the transformer that I have here is a neon sign transformer this is a pretty much a flyback transformer of some kind the output is between 7,000 and 10,000 volts. It does have an adjustment on it. I do not know what frequency this is, but it is definitely way up in the megahertz probably. They say that high frequency transformers are far better for the production of ozone than your standard iron core coil wound transformers. Basically what I've got here is just a diode in the transformer that's running the cooling fans. And this thing was sitting under my house for about two weeks. Um, I don't know whether or not it killed all the mold, but I can say that all the mold that was present has turned white. None of the black purple colors that existed are there anymore. It did eliminate the odor. And I also put this thing in my car for about six hours one day and it did remove all the funky smell out of the car. So it does work good to remove smell. Whether or not it's an effective mold destroying machine, I really won't tell you that. I'm not going to do it. I don't have any conclusive evidence, but it did seem to change the color of the mold. Um, this particular model is kicking off quite a bit of gas, and one of the things I want to describe to anyone who might decide they want to build one of these things is that ozone gas is very corrosive to uh, the electrical components. This particular device would eventually fail after a while because um, the ozone gas will get into the circuitry and corrode some of the contact points and stuff. I'm not sure how bad it will do it but that was one of the things that came up in the research um, it's really uh let's see what the power factor of this thing is is that about a 0.53 power factor and looks like uh, about one amp 64 watts 65 watts about six watts of that as I said is from the cooling fan but this thing has ran for a week at a time so this electrode configuration is definitely holding up as I said I've got about 20 videos of me destroying all my girlfriend's ceramic cups and china and stuff like that so I went through a lot of plates a lot of glass and this particular piece of glass is a quartz tube this is not glass so it was able to hold up to it and if you guys have any feedback regarding this type of transformer um, let me know what you think